Now, I want to talk to you about a few other circumstances that rabbis today will try to get you not to shave in. And I really don't know why. Mainly because these um, circumstances do not appear in Jewish law. First is during the counting of the Omer, which is traditionally understood to be the time that the plague killed off 24,000 of Rabbi Akiva's students. Now, whether this is true or not, nowhere, nowhere in Halakha are we commanded to mourn for the supposed death of these students. A mourning that some even teach is almost two months long. I mean, two months of no shaving, uh, no haircuts, marriages, music, new clothes, and on and on. Hmm. When life couldn't get any bleaker, you have these rabbis coming in thinking that they know best for us, not that they have the power to change or create halachot in any way. Now, this custom was first mentioned by one of the Gaonim of the 9th century. Now, only because the Gaon mentioned it does not validate us legislating it into practice today, to the point that most ignorantly today, would even classify it as a halakha, which is how it's mentioned in the Shulchan Aruch, that tells us to mourn, right? No music, no haircut, shaving till the 34th day of the Omer, of the counting of the Omer, while the Ari, the closest person we have ever had to a warlock in Judaism, says that you have to keep the beard till Shavuot, or the day before. And they go even further and even prohibit making Shechianu during the Sphira, which means no new clothes, well really, I mean no new anything, and worse, even prohibiting marriages. With this custom or law, there's not that does not even appear in Shas. Not to mention that the idea of putting off a mitzvah like marriage over a baseless custom, my friends, is ridiculous. Not to mention that believing a Midrash and illustrating it through mourning that insists that God killed 24,000 people just because they didn't show respect to one another is... A bit ridiculous, but it's a separate issue. The next.